Hey y'all, it's Lisa with Our Gray House and in today's video, I'm gonna be making some mini shutters. I've seen a lot of DIYers on YouTube make them and I thought, you know, I can make them too. For this project today, you'll need six of these stretched canvases. I got these at the Dollar Tree and you'll need some of the large jumbo popsicle sticks. Now, I don't think that I got these at Dollar Tree, although you can, or I've seen them before. I got mine at Lowe's. So, if you choose to do like an 8x10 canvas, you'll probably need to use like paint sticks for the slats of the shutter. The first step is to disassemble the canvas from the frame. I have removed all of the canvas from the frames and now I have taken 10 popsicle sticks and placed them underneath and then drew a line so I know where to cut them. And just keep in mind though, I needed 60, I, I used about 10 popsicle sticks per frame. And just keep in mind that not all the popsicle sticks are going to be usable. Some are like, ah, you know, curved and not <laughs> straight, a little warped and things like that. So I had plenty, but but still, just keep that in mind. And the thing about these popsicle sticks is they are easily, you can easily cut them with just plain scissors. Now with the leftover pieces, there's not much I can do with these little, just like the little tips, but the ones that are like this, there could be something that I could do with them later. So I'm gonna save those and put those in my little wood scrap, scrap wood scraps box. To kind of explain what I did, I laid down these popsicle sticks and then I placed the frame, I did all 10, and I placed the frame on top and I kind of drew inside. So when I'm cutting them, I'm trying to cut a little bit on the outside of that line just to kind of, I'd rather cut it a little bit bigger so that I can skim it off a little bit if I need to, rather than it be a little bit too short and then that's all another problem. To create the shutters, I basically put glue, hot glue on two of the short ends. And on this particular piece, I put it on the long end as well because this was my starter slat for the shutters. But for the rest of the popsicle sticks, I just put glue on the short ends and then try to space them as good as I could. It's a little harder to space. I was gonna use a Jenga block, but I, I thought that was too big of a slat and it was just leaving too big of a space and then I was going to use another popsicle stick and that wasn't working out. So I just ended up winging it and doing it and trying to space it out as best I could on my own. Was it perfect? No it wasn't, but it's okay. And then in the end I found out that I had cut some of the popsicle sticks a little bit too short. So I had to take some more popsicle sticks and make some additional slats. And again, just gluing the short ends and trying to space as best as I could. So I decided to make, take these three frames that had the canvases on them as well. And I'm gonna make, put them together like this and then mount the shutters like that. But first, I'm gonna turn them upside down. I'm gonna take these 20 millimeter wooded balls and attach them to the bottom as feet and in between each one as well. This is gonna be the bottom. So I'm gonna glue one bead in each of the four corners. Here I am just putting hot glue in the four corners so I can glue the beads down. This is an extra step. You didn't have to put beads in between each level of the box, but I did. And so one thing I would caution is to try to make that square because I did not. Mine's a little bit off kilter, but it's okay. Then I realized I didn't have a bottom. So I cut a bottom out of cardboard and I made sure to cut out little notches for the bead feet to fit around when I hot glued it on. And then that made a nice bottom for me. Now I'm gonna glue the shutters together. It's two by two or two, like one on top of the other. And then I'm gluing those two together to frame, make like one big shutter. I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. So now it's time to paint the project. What I would have loved to have done is spray painted it outside, but here in Texas where I live, it's been rainy and humid and it's just not good spray painting weather. So I was trying to do the best I could. However, it wasn't really going for the rustic look, so I had to give it several coats of paint to make it look like I wanted. 
I also noticed you could see inside the box, so I just covered with some scrapbook paper, some pieces of cardboard and glued it in. Now, I'm gonna glue the shutters to the flower box. And this worked pretty easy, obviously, but I did have to hold it for just a second. I, I always hesitate to use hot glue because it's like thick. Now I'm putting the flowers in and I am using that green foam. I got this all from the Dollar Tree and just hot gluing it in so it kind of stays in place and then I'm gonna place these flowers in. Some folks are really better at flower arranging. I am not. I'm just like putting it full of flowers and I think it looks cute. Now I need to put like a little sign on the shutter. This is all from Dollar Tree. This is the Dollar Tree marker, chalkboard marker, and it's not really chalk and it's not really paint. It's kind of like in between, but it's like an interesting texture. Anyway, now I'm gonna add a little bit of a bow, a little bit of a bow. I'm gonna add a little bow to the little hole there. Then I'm gonna glue it to the center of the shutter. And now the project is complete. We have Supervisor Captain in the background, but this is how the project turned out. I think it looks great. I really love the color of the flowers. I just really love everything about it. Don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!